What's up, guys? It's the Black Bonsai Guy, and I am back here again today. Uh, today, as you can tell, I'm not in the garden. Uh, today, we will be doing something slightly different. Uh, I was laying in a bed late last night, and I said, you know what? Gardening is cool. I love to do it, but I love to do it when it's the perfect conditions, right? Everything is right with the weather. Um, everything is right with the, the soil you're using. Uh, everything is right with the plants that you have, right? Um, but oftentimes, you don't have all of those things lining up. Um, the, the other side of garden, gardening that I enjoy a lot is uh, the actual hunt and search for um, plants and trees. So what I decided to do is uh, at least once a week, kind of walk you guys through my process that I go about looking for uh, plants and trees. I also use this process for uh, other things as well. Um, I collect art, um, I have a huge art collection. Uh, so I use the same process for finding art um, and other things that I also enjoy doing besides gardening. Um, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a second, a quick second, and I'm gonna go make me a drink. And today we're gonna be on some of that brown water. I'm gonna go have a, um, a daiquiri, have me some brown rum in it, uh, maybe two, maybe three, who knows, right? We just gonna get all that brown water. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back in here and I found this app that allows me to share my screen with you all, my phone screen, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you all through my process that I use for finding plants and trees, also for collecting and all of the other crazy things that I like to do as well. Uh, in fact, those who know me uh, outside of uh, the Black Bonsai Guy, you may know me from what I do in business. Uh, I built the food truck business from doing this same process, uh, which I'm going to show you in a minute. I don't want to get too deep in it. It's going to be a fairly lengthy video, but I think those who want to get into gardening, those who may want to get into collecting or just starting a, a business and flipping things, they may want to pay attention to this video. Um, so what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to take this, this break and uh, I'll come back with that brown water. Daphne, you know what I mean? All right, I'm back. Got that strawberry daiquiri, strawberry and pina colada. It's strong. I put too much liquor in it, but you know, I'll figure out what to do with it. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take my phone down and I'm going to walk you through an app that I use uh, to pretty much search for everything, an app and a website. And with these two places, you can pretty much find anything you want, uh, you know, 50, 60, 75 percent off of what you would pay uh, if you bought it from a store. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. Before, have a little sip. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. So you should be seeing my phone screen at the moment. And if you look at the top left, there's a green icon called OfferUp. Uh, OfferUp recently just merged with another app that I used to use called LetGo. Uh, let go went out of business and they merged with offer up. So now offer up is the uh, the big dog out there for finding good deals. <clears throat> Many of you may be familiar with it. Many of you may not. Um, I'll show you how you can get offer up. If you have an Android, uh, you just go to your Play Store and you type in offer up. And you'll get that little icon at the top, offer up. And mine says open because I already have it installed. But on yours, it will say install if you don't have the app. Uh, so that's how you get the app. So now we're going to launch it. All right. And just like with any app, you go in there, you create an account. And once you create an account, you can go in there and search for uh, pretty much anything. So I just open the app and immediately I'm, I, I used to collect and restore cast iron. In fact, I got a buddy Kyrie. He's looking for some cast iron right now. So I just want to peruse this right quick and see these are, these are not good cast iron pots. So ignore that. 
But um, there's all types of things on let go. Any, any, excuse me, on offer up. Anything people buy and they don't want anymore, you know, they're doing clean outs, things of that nature, they get rid of it on offer up. Some things are new, as you can see right here. Some things are damaged, all right? The fun part about it is you get to search uh, for everything that you want. So what I did was I just opened the app and I'm just perusing the app to see, here we go, if I see anything that is garden or plant related. So as you can see right here, and I'll open up this uh, first pick, this person has a whole bunch of plants. And the offer price that they had on the plants was $15. So typically, you know, after a long day of work, I'm laying down in the bed. You know, the girlfriend's right next to me. She's watching her shows, the girly shows, and I don't want to watch that stuff. So I'm going to offer up and I'm looking for deals, right? And uh, as soon as I find a deal, I lean over and I say, look what I found. And we kind of go through this. Uh, uh, let me get out of that for a second. We kind of go through this debate if if it makes sense to buy it or not, right? So this particular, I don't see anything that I like that looks like a uh, some type of verbena plant, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not good at just identifying plants that I don't know. But I know these these aren't I mean these uh orange plants are marigolds and they are really good for keeping uh pests out of your garden like aphids and white flies things of that nature they do not like these marigolds uh so if you were looking for some natural plant I mean pest prevention this would be a good deal for you to go with um I don't see anything that interests me but uh this right here is not a shabby a shabby deal. Now, this is $15. They say right here, assorted plants for sale. Plants range in the, from $15 to $25. Now, me, I am a master negotiator, a master negotiator, right? One of the things I would do is I would come in here and I would negotiate, if I was interested in any of these plants, I would negotiate with them to uh, see if I can get a better deal. Nothing in that particular search really interests me, so I will continue to move on. And look at this. that This is sold. Oh, now this is the type of stuff that when you run up on it, I just missed out. Whoever had this, they sold it. On offer up, when stuff sells, it generally stays posted for, you know, an hour or two after something sells so that people can see. Excuse me, let me get a sip of this brown water. So people can see um, what just sold. And I don't know if you guys caught the title of this, but this is a pomegranate tree. A 15-gallon pomegranate tree uh, is ready to be planted, and Alexandria is selling it. Uh, well, sold it in this case, and they sold it for $50. And this pomegranate tree you know, comparing it to the pomegranate trees that I have, I'm pretty sure that this tree is going to fruit next year uh, if it has not fruited already in the past. I don't see any fruit on it right now. And uh, all of the pomegranate trees that are currently fruiting, they would have pomegranates on, right, on it right now. So this one, um, let me go to the next picture and just zoom in a little bit. I mean, if you look at the the uh, the trunk structure, this is actually one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven different pomegranate trees that you probably could separate and have seven different pomegranate trees growing at one time. Now, I'm sure the, the roots are all tangled up and it probably would be hard to do, but you definitely could take that uh, root ball and and slice it in half and maybe do four on one root ball and uh, three on the other. That was a deal that, um, you know, if I was in the market looking for pomegranate trees, I would be interested in. So let me just back up for a second and show you what I did. If you click on the person's name, and I got my finger, I'm holding it down so you can see it's turning gray. If you click on their name and then you go to offer, uh, you see everything that they are selling. 
and they have quite a bit. Um, oh, look at this. This sold as well. And this was listed two days ago, and they were selling a mango tree and a Guam trail tree. I have both of these trees. That mango tree is going to be years before it fruits. Um, but if you wanted a mango tree, you could have got a mango tree for five dollars because it was both of them for ten. Um, this Guam tree, this tree, uh, I did a video on pruning this. These trees grow exceptionally fast. Uh, they do well in our heat, and they produce a, a pod, and that pod is is it, sweet. It's like a like a cotton candy type of deal. Um, you could you could have got that both of these for ten bucks. You could have planted these trees in the ground, let that mango grow with a little sulfur in the soil, and so it can be in an acidic environment. Get it growing up, maybe to be one or two feet, and you can get a uh, take a cutting from a mango tree that is fruiting, and you can graft onto that mango, and you can have mangoes the next year. Uh, that Guam tree is probably going to fruit, uh, I say maybe in the next two years, just based on size. They still have some succulents available. Those are Portula Caria Africas. This is what I use to make most of my bonsai with. Um, not a bad deal, $7. Uh, but you really don't need to pay $7 for jade cuttings. If you know anywhere in town that has jade, just go take a cutting. Stick it in some soil and uh, it'll grow. It doesn't take a lot to grow uh, J plants. If you guys ever go to Yard House in Tucson, they have many J plants outside on their patio. And uh, I'm sure if you asked the waitress, could you have a cutting, she would not mind. Uh, this appears to be a couple of succulents selling it for $3. I mean, this is the type of stuff that you could buy Right, and you could put this in your office, um, and you know, just have some scenery to look at. And these are three dollars each, uh, both for five bucks. Um, this is a snake plant right here. Um, for those I like modern, a modern style home. Um, I mean, you can't go wrong with a snake plant, right? They, 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 they have that 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 appeal about them. And this is seven dollars for a snake plant. I tell you, if you go to some of the big box stores and the nurseries, you'll pay fifteen bucks for a uh, snake plant. These look like to be some succulents. Um, I also I actually have these succulents in my backyard, and uh, they look pretty good once they grow up. And I also have a succulent plant, so I'm not seeing anything that. Oh, I just noticed something. So notice this ad is sold. And then up here, they have it listed again. So what they did was they deleted the old ad, reposted it so that it could be it could be shown higher in the uh, the new postings. So these two things are still available. And that Guam tree, I don't know, man. I might have to cop that for five dollars. I might have to cop that. You know, now the pomegranate tree that's gone. That look like that's gone for good. And they also have some more Guam trees to sell. So, um, yeah, that is, these are good deals. Let me go ahead and save that. I uh, click on this heart in the upper right hand corner and I hit quick save. And I can always go back to my favorites and find uh, this person in the future. This is an artificial plant, not interested in that. Why do artificial when you know you really can grow? These appear to be artificial plants. I just like to, yeah, fake plant. I just like to click on stuff and just make sure I ain't miss out on no deal. I'm not really looking for anything in particular at the moment. Um, but some days, you know, I might see something on uh, HGTV or on a garden channel and I just I just get in the mood where I want I want something. This is generally my first stop for uh looking for something. Uh now one of the things I am looking for is uh a date palm tree. So let me back out of that and go up here and type in date palm. 
If I could spell right. And this is actually, uh, I have this one favored, as you can see. There's a guy in Tucson, and he's selling these date palms. And he's selling them for, I think he got them listed for one seventy-five. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to buy one. I just have not uh, convinced myself to do it yet. But uh, for date palm, for those who don't know, if you have... Uh, a backyard and you have space to plant a date palm and you're living in a house that you know you're going to be living in that house for the next 10, 15 years, get you a date palm tree, a meju date palm tree, one that's acclimated for your climate and plant it in the ground. Um, these trees, once they begin to fruit, it takes generally, um, depending on how old the shoot is, it takes anywhere from three to five years. Sometimes they'll fruit within one year if it's an older shoot. These trees can produce hundreds, hundreds of pounds of meju dates. And for those who do not know about meju dates, uh, I'm vegan, so that's like that's like what we use for our sweetener. We put it in our smoothies. Um, you could bake them. And, you know, eating with chicken and all that type of thing. Um, but major dates, they are expensive. I mean, like a little a little four by four or six by six carton uh, of uh, dates in the store. If you can find them, they'll run you twenty, thirty dollars. Right. And these dates, they last forever. Um, let me once they um, once they drop. Hopefully you guys can see that I'm zooming in on it. I'll back out now. But uh, these things, they will fruit. Once they fruit and, you know, you get two, three hundred pounds of dates, you can sell those dates. A half of what they're, they're selling them for in the stores. So if you have a, um, you know, like I said, they run 20, 30 bucks for a carton of these things. If you had two, three hundred pounds of them. Imagine how many of those carts you could fill up and imagine how many of those carts you could flip at, you know, um, farmers markets on the weekend. I mean, you can make a pretty penny off of just buying this tree and putting it in the ground and letting it grow up. I'm hesitant to buy because I'm in a process of um, casually looking for a new home. I don't know if I want to stay in this house and just pay it off. Um or if I want to buy something bigger and, uh, you know, kind of get closer to that dream house type of thing. Uh, I'm, I'm halfway on the fence because if I pay off the house, then I won't have no debt. Right? I don't have to pay any any bills per month and I can enjoy my entire salary, um, which is really not that beneficial when you think about it. Because, you know, if you got a mortgage and it's fifteen hundred bucks and, you know, fifteen hundred bucks times 12 months, that's really the only thing you would be enjoying, right? You still have your living expenses, utilities, things like that that you have to do. But, you know, you could save, you know, almost 20, you know, 15, 20 grand a year, which sounds very good, but I don't know if saving 15 to 20 grand a year is better than me moving into that next house house. You know what I mean? That house house with the view and the bigger backyard for more gardening. Uh, but anyway, that's why I have been reluctant to get one of these because I believe you have to keep them in the ground. I don't know if you can keep them in a container, you know, for a long period of time. Now, I know he marked this ad as sold, uh, but I've been in communication with this guy and I know he he has some uh, available. So um, this is I'm going to go ahead and cut this video short. I plan on doing one of these videos. Uh, at least once a week, just to kind of run you guys through my process. So uh, that's all for now. It's the Black Bonsai Guy, and I'm out.